10 interesting facts about Ethiopia that you didn't know. Ethiopia, known as the enthralling land of origins, is located in northeastern Africa and is home to a variety of scenery, including deserts, volcanoes, mountains, and of course, the famous rock hewn cathedrals. Ethiopia is one of the most fascinating destinations on the planet because of its unique blend of culture, profound history, and stunning scenery. The country may not be the first destination that comes to mind when planning your next vacation, but it should be. The country has been at peace for more than 15 years, and its economy is one of Africa's and the world's fastest growing. During the scramble for Africa, European colonial powers controlled nearly all of Africa, roughly 90% of it, except for Liberia, which had a 17-year colony. Every country in Africa was colonized at some point, with the exception of Ethiopia. Abyssinia, also known as the Ethiopian Empire, was a powerful and long-lasting empire, which is one of the reasons behind the country's distinct culture. Ethiopia, as a country, dates back to around 980 BC, making it one of the world's oldest nations. Because of its lengthy history and unparalleled diversity of people and cultures, the country is frequently referred to as a people museum. With such a diverse population, the country is home to a complex mix of languages and ethnicities. Ethiopia, sometimes known as the Land of Thirteen Sunshines, is widely regarded as one of Africa's most engaging and enchanting destinations. Africa Reloaded gives you 10 facts about Ethiopia you definitely didn't know about, ranging from legendary beliefs to troubling times and dates. 10. Addis Ababa is Africa's highest capital city. With a height of 2,450 meters, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia's capital, is the highest capital city in Africa and the fourth tallest in the world. At roughly 3,200 meters above sea level, Mount Ntoto, the highest point on the Ntoto Mountains, gives shade to the city. Addis Ababa is unquestionably a vast, dusty, and overcrowded city. It is, nevertheless, the African Union's and the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa's headquarters. 9. There are 13 months in a year in Ethiopia. Although many civilizations have their own calendars that they prefer to the Western Gregorian calendar, the most majority nevertheless adhere to the unspoken rule of 12 months to a year. Ethiopia is not one of these countries. Ethiopians picked up on Spinal Tap's belief that one more is always better many thousands of years ago and have been counting 13 months to their year ever since, hoping to break the trend. What does this mean in practice? In 2017, it's still 2009 there. As a result, astute tourism boards may easily proclaim that the country boasts 13 months of sunshine. 8. Ethiopian Time Ethiopians also have their own way for keeping track of the hours of the day. For reasons that are difficult to argue, they believe it is less confusing if a clock starts when the day does. As a result, sunrise occurs at 1 p.m. and sunset occurs at 12 p.m. after then, the 12-hour night clock takes over. Make sure to ask whether the departure time is an Ethiopian or Western time when purchasing bus tickets or other kinds of transportation. 7. Ethiopia has the world's highest number of orphans. With over 104 to 5 million orphans, Ethiopia has the highest number of orphans in the world. Almost a third of Ethiopian youngsters are missing one or both parents. The AIDS epidemic claimed the lives of about a quarter of these parents. 6. Ethiopia was formerly one of the world's poorest countries, but it has made remarkable progress in recent years. In 2006, Ethiopia was ranked 170 out of 177 poorest countries on the Human Development Index, with 50% of the population living in poverty and 80% living below the poverty line. Ethiopia was the world's third poorest country in 2000, yet it expanded at the third fastest rate among countries, with populations of 10 million or more between 2000 and 2016, according to IMF estimates. Ethiopia's poverty rate had reduced to 31% by 2011, 
and the country's GDP per capita was predicted to expand at a rate of 6.2% per year through 2022. 5. Utter Independence Ethiopia is the only African country that has never been colonized, a fact that people are always quick to point out, and that's fair enough. In 1935, the Italians attempted colonization and were successful in militarily occupying the country for six years, but Ethiopian soldiers fought back the entire time, and the country was never brought under control. As some inhabitants put it, we waited till they built us railways and magnificent buildings, and then kicked them out. 4. The first cup of coffee. Do you take a caffeine shot in the morning? It's thanks to some Ethiopian goats. According to tradition, a goat herder saw his flock's fondness for a particular bush and decided to sample one of its fruits. As a result, his day's herding became substantially more efficient, and the coffee industry flourished. 3. Ethiopia is a vegetarian-friendly country. Ethiopian cuisine is among the best-tasting, healthiest, and most diverse on the continent. Unlike many African countries, it is also a vegetarian's dream. The simple reason is that most Ethiopians follow an Orthodox Christian sect that prohibits the consumption of animal products on Wednesdays and Fridays. For herbivores, this means that restaurants are more likely to have a few deliciously hot vegan stews on the menu, which also means that when you tell you don't eat meat, they'll actually understand, rather than replacing chicken for the beef you asked to be left off your pizza. 2. The Rastafarian Movement's Birthplace Were you under the impression that was Jamaica? No. While the Rastafarian Movement began in Jamaica, Ethiopia is the movement's spiritual heartland. The term Ra's means leader in Amharic, and Tafari means Emperor Hail Selassie. Selassie is the movement's first name, and it sees him as a divine embodiment. Do you require any other evidence? Take a look at the colors of the Ethiopian flag. Isn't this all a little too familiar? 1. The World's Oldest Individuals Several archaeological finds in Ethiopia's Afar region support the hypothesis that Ethiopia is the place where we all came from. Donald Johansson and Tim D. White discovered Lucy, a 3.2 million-year-old hominid skeleton, in 1972. Lucy was the buzz of the town for years, touring the world for nine years and receiving international fame. Then Ardi, another Afar native but a million years her senior, appeared and completely blew her away. Ethiopia is a country that never ceases to surprise and fascinate visitors thanks to its distinct culture and lengthy, intriguing past. It is now one of Africa's fastest developing economies and a popular tourist destination. Despite the country's charms, tourism is still minimal in Ethiopia, and the country is relatively safe compared to most other African countries, even in Addis Ababa. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos.